back like we never left sv here with another live reaction to the beginning after the end this week we read in chapter 150 the big 150 so you know the fucking vibes last chapter we saw our boy arthur have the painful conversation with his parents telling them that he is indeed been reincarnated from another world and he that's the reason why he's really so crazy it was a truly painful goodbye and now we see him leave with Winsome to go train. So we're really gonna see what's cracking with that. So let's get into this chapter because I wanna see what this place looks like. So let's go. t chapter 150, embracing the unfamiliar. Let's go. So we see right away, I hated myself for what had happened. A part of me wished I had told Arthur that it was okay, that he was still family. So we start off with a monologue. This is right after Arthur leaves ray and ray still hasn't moved still standing in the same spot after arthur told him you know the good the, like the most beautiful thing he told him like y'all told me how to be a real person like it shit was amazing so ray is still there frozen but a bigger part of me the part that i hated wish he never he would have just never told us it's fucked. And that also mirrors the sentiment of Arthur, where Arthur, after this happened, he kind of is like, I kind of wish I didn't tell you guys. So they had the same kind of thought, which is not a good thought, but hey. He slowly starts walking. He stops right at Rinia's door. He hands, he leans on the wall, hand covering his face. I had known since early on in Arthur's life that he was different. And yo, this man, like the, the art in this shit, like Ray looks so pale right now. Just by the way his eyes are drawing and his cheeks are sunken in, like he looks sickly from what he's found out about Arthur, you know, which is crazy. I knew he was different. Maybe it was so hard for me to accept it because it was also against my pride. My own selfish pride that maybe, just maybe, I had raised a genius that only came once in a millennium. Mm. He continues walking. The signs were always there. His strange behavior from an early age. His unexplainable prowess as a swordsman. And his talents as a mage. We see Rinia is still there, just chilling next to the fire. He left. He left, you know. I, I figured. We see Ray sits down, slumps under the chair. I was afraid of the day. I was afraid of the day when he would tell you. <gasps> oh! So Rinia knew. I mean, we knew that. Like, we obviously know that Rinia knows, you know? Because she could see Arthur's fucking, in Arthur's fucking future and shit. I was afraid of the day he, he would tell you. You, you, you knew Elderinia? I see many things, but only for that boy do I have to grind my old head to try and piece together what's in store for him. Jesus. I love, oh, I, I love Rinia. And I, I really tend to love these kind of seer characters. And I really love her as well. Because she's like, I've seen, I seen a lot of shit in my, in my time, boy. But only for that little man do I got to grind these old bones to figure out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> He's hardly a boy. Bah, He's still a child to me, Rinia says. Much like how you're still a child as well. I always thought it was funny. The perceptions that people have about age and intelligence. And that's interesting because as elves, they perceive age and time very differently because they obviously grow and age at a reduced rate. They live at a long, they live to live to be longer, to be older, I should say, you know? So obviously they have a different thought process on aging and shit like that. The, the preconceptions that people have about age and intelligence. The older someone is, the more wiser he or she should possess. The more wisdom he or she should, should possess. And the more intelligent someone is, 
the more logical he or she should be. Ray looks on. Pair those two traits up, and the intelligent senior should be some cold, calculating shrew. Don't you agree? Rhaenya turns her head, looks at him. Do you, do you see me as a cold, calculating shrew? As she looks at Ray dead in his face. <laughs> no, 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 no. Of course not. But, but, I don't get what this has to do with Arthur. Weren't you wishing Arthur would have just kept his mouth shut? That you would feel better being ignorant of who the boy really is? I bet you were also wondering why the boy you told... I bet you were also wondering why the boy told you in the first place. The heart remains the brain's biggest foe. Mmm, that's a bar. I bet you were also wondering why the boy told you in the first place. The heart remains the brain's biggest foe. That's a fucking bar, bro. Well, actually, for men, the brain's biggest foe is something else. I'm crying, Arinia. You did not have to go there, bro. She did not have to go there talking about for men, the brain's biggest foe is somewhere else. <laughs> you gotta drag us like that? Come on. Why you gotta drag us like that? That's crazy. <laughs> I was saying, as I was saying, emotion. The heart constantly clashes against things like validity, efficiency, utility, anything logical. That's when, that's what gets us hurt or even killed, yet we can't seem to help it. It makes us lesser than an individual, but greater as a group. Mm. I'm loving this conversation between Rinia and Ray because Ray low key needed to talking to, bro. He needed to, he needed someone to spit some knowledge to him about what's really the bigger picture in this shit, right? So, Arthur was running more on emotion than logic when he told us this? Ha! Huh. How could I know what he's thinking? <laughs> Rydia says, turns around. I do know this, though. I've known the boy since he was a mere toddler in this world, and he's come a long way since then. Perhaps this was the large, the large step he had to take to fully break out of the cold shell he once found safety and comfort in. Mmm, okay. Perhaps this was the large step he had to take to fully break out of that cold shell he once found safety and comfort in. Rinya gets up and stretches. Hold on to this for me so that I so that I can prepare some food for your wife. Arthur's master told me to, Arthur's master told me it was a gift for the Lewin family. Okay, so Winsome gave Rinia this for Arthur's family. A gift for? What? A little bear? Oh my God, cute. A gift for, and he is a little bear. He goes, ah, so cute. We see Ellie pops up out of nowhere. Papa, what is it? Can I keep it? Honey, you scared me. And I'm not sure if. No way. Is it about, is this gonna be like Ellie's bond? No fucking way. Is this Ellie's bond, a little bear? So we see, I'm not sure if this, and as they look, it's a good idea. That's a good idea. The bear looks at Ellie and Shing, they both lock eyes and it's over. They're, they're bonded, it's, it's over. Well, there goes my dreams of having a mighty mana beast to ride into battle. <laughs> Guess it is better for my precious daughter to have a bond to protect her. Hehe, <laughs> I'll name you Boo. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, never mind. Yeah, the, the dad ain't getting it, bro. It's the daughter. 
I'll name you Boo, but Boo, yep, because the black spots make him look like he's mad. <laughs> I'm weak. Oh, right. Papa, Mama is awake. Ellie looks so cute with this bear. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro, Ellie looks so adorable with this bear, bruv. Goodness. Protect this family at all costs. Yo, PBK, what's up, brother? Protect this family at all costs, bro. So we cut away. Oh, my God. So we cut back. Alice is finally awake. The shock seemingly has not subsided, but she's not hysterical anymore. So she just looks cold. She's sitting there, just looks cold, bruv. How long have I been sleeping? A few hours, Ray says. Ooh, where's Arthur? Is he gone? Yeah. This man, Ray, takes Alice's head, puts it in his chest. I'm a horrible person, aren't I? No, you're not. Why would you think that? I called Arthur sick. I didn't want to, and, and she's obviously bawling. Bawling. Making deliveries now and again, finally able to sit home and take them, and then leave two minutes before picking up. Hey, good shit, bruh. That's lit. Glad you back on your routine, bruv, and get into that bag. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you back on that shit, because the crew gotta be on their shit. We see, so Alice is, again, just starts crying because in the shock of everything, she really did, she was like, Arthur, are you sick, nigga? Like, are you good? She called him crazy. I didn't want to take it seriously. That's normal. I wouldn't trust anyone who could easily accept what Arthur told us. True. It's a semi-routine for now, but it'll do. Yeah, I feel that. I definitely feel that. That's normal. I wouldn't take anyone seriously, yeah. I mean, for sure. Again, Alice still just sobbing. Sobbing. Then, am I a terrible person for doubting whether Arthur is our son? Boom. So Ray, Ray obviously is like, what the fuck? I wanna tell her no. But how can I, when I called myself terrible for thinking the exact same thing, exactly? He can't. It's, it's rough. And it's even rough for Alice because Alice is the mother. She went through pregnancy and everything with Arthur. She, like, she, niggally, she nursed Arthur as a kid, boy. You know what I'm saying? How can I, when I called myself terrible for thinking the exact same thing? Alice was the one who went through the pain of pregnancy for nine months before enduring the agony of labor. She nursed him, fed him, took care of him when he was sick, and taught him the ways of this world. Even everything she knew about the child turned out now. Everything she knew about the child turned out to be a lie. This shit is crazy, bro. Oh my God, that's so painful, man. That's so painful. I'm definitely trying to buy this shit too. When it gets printed, PBK, I'm in there as well. You already know. Oh my goodness, man. That's so painful. I need to be the, I need to be the strong one. I need to be the one that my wife can rely on. So she says, uh, I'm sorry. Ray's obviously thinking this in his head. And he goes, I'm sorry. I did nothing but feel sorry about. You did nothing to feel sorry about, honey. We, we just need time to sort out our feelings. Arthur knew this, which is why he told us before he had to leave, exactly. How long would he be gone for? He said a few years. I see. And Alice, again, just sobbing. Ray trying to console her, bro. I wonder what our son would have been like if Arthur hadn't taken over. Oh my God, don't say that, bro. 
Oh my god, don't say things like that. That hurts me like to a core level. That pains me down to my bones. Because we don't even know like what what the fuck that means. Like oh my god, like I don't understand. Like for her to say that is is really devastating to me. I cannot believe she just said that. I truly cannot believe she just said that, bro. I wonder what our son would have been like if Arthur hadn't taken over. That's to that's just assuming Arthur possessed his son when we don't even know what happened. Nah, I cannot believe she just said that, bro. That's painful. Ray eyes open, nigga, like what? He's like, Alice, please don't say that. Don't ask something like that. Oh my God, would he have been courageous and outgoing like you? Or maybe he would have been a bit more careful and shy like me. Honey, don't, Arthur is. Arthur, Arthur is what, our son? If you haven't noticed, Ray, not once have we referred. Oh. If you, if you haven't noticed, Ray, not once have we referred to Arthur as our son since we started talking. And Ray just looks stunned like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And then they just start sobbing again, bruh. Right now, just as it, just as it is for you, it's hard for me to confidently call Arthur our son. Hopefully, That'll change the next time we see him. But it doesn't change the fact that we have considered him family for over 13 years. Very true. We laughed. We fought. We celebrated. We shed tears together. Isn't that what brought us close? Oh, Oh, Ray, I got goosebumps from that one, boy. Oh, I got goosebumps from that shit. That's great. Isn't that what brought us close? Not the blood running through us. Not who we once, not who we once were in the past. But what we were, but what we went through together. Remember when, when Arthur sacrificed his life for you on the way to Zyrus? He wouldn't have done something like that if he didn't care about you. Ray, talk to him. Ray! <laughs> and call back to all the way, what, like, chapter 15, chapter 10, of when Arthur dips off to Zyrus, they get attacked, he saves his mother and falls off the cliff, and that's how he ends up meeting the dragon, you know, Grandma Sylvia, you know what I'm saying? Call back to that shit, you love it? Alice, you're not a horrible person. It's just going to take us time to wrap our heads around this. She nods. She stops. She wipes her eyes. She nods. So stop staring. I must look disgusting right now as she stopped wiping her eyes. <laughs> Ray, go, goat husband, goat father, grabs her hand, kisses her on the forehead. Ray. You're beautiful. Ray, holding it down, bro. They touch foreheads. Mama! Boom. And obviously, classic, classic. As the two parents having an intimate moment, who comes in? The fucking daughter. <laughs> Ellie pops in, barges in. Mama, come see Boo. What does Ellie mean by Boo. I'll tell you later. Okay, maybe Ellie didn't, Ellie didn't come in. Ellie yelled from outside. What does Ellie mean by boo? I'll tell you later. And she smiled, give a little smile, and oh, they're so cute. Stop. Arthur's family, I'm telling you, protect them at all costs. If anything is to ever happen to Arthur's family, knock on wood. If anything was to ever happen to them, I would be devastated. Devastated. They're so cute, bro. You see them hugging, 
tarot card. Oh, fuck. Okay. So we cut away. We see a blue sky with a ton of cherry blossoms. Are we going to see... Is this where Arthur's at? A blue sky, ton of cherry blossoms, bro. Yup. We see Winsome, Arthur, Sylvie pop out the portal. They look around. So this is the land of the deities. It's pretty. It's gorgeous, bro. Like, every, every single mountain just covered in, like, beautiful pink flowers, bro. Cherry blossoms. Gorgeous. We see Winsome, Arthur walking through. Welcome to Aphiatus. Or more specifically, the, Ind the Indraft clan's castle. <whistles> Goodness. Oh my gosh, bro. And we see the castle. It's like a giant castle and there's like a dragon on top of it. Huge dragon head, dragon wings on top of this, this castle, bro. It looks gorgeous. The land of the deities, or more specifically, the Indarth clan's castle. And that's the end, bro. And that's the end. Goodness, man. That shit is goddamn beautiful, bro. <laughs> goodness this was amazing this was amazing bro this was another painful chapter we needed to have like coupled with the last one we really needed to have this this chapter these conversations that the parents had had to have with each other they had to get they had to be said even though it's a tough combo you know what i mean you know what i mean a truly tough combo but it had to be said and this fucking homeworld of the deities, fucking beautiful, man. I can't wait to see inside the castle. I can't wait to see the other clan members of the Indarth, bro. The Indraft, excuse me. Crazy, bro. Ellie got a bond. This was fucking amazing. Solid. Beyond solid chapter, bro. you love to see it. So hopefully next chapter we get to see our boy Art start his training. We get to see inside this castle. But yeah, it's going to be crazy. But if you made it to the end, yeah, it was necessary, bro. It really was. Like that boy Timo in the said chat, it was necessary. Like we had to have, even though the conversation truly pained me, some of the stuff Alice said truly hurts me down to my core. But the things had to be said. So hopefully next time they see Arthur, there's no bad blood and then they can go back to being a family. And also the things Ray, Ray said about the things that brought them close weren't their blood relation, but like the things they went through as a as a unit, you know? Arthur being ki get, being fucking uh, gone from the family, all this other shit, Arthur being fucking injured all the time, all this other shit, you know? So, yeah really necessary chapter i can't wait for the next one if you made it to the end i appreciate you so much this was crazy i'll be back next week for another chapter of this young t bait i'm gonna see y'all soon stay safe out in these streets and i'll see y'all later peace